Well, it's very easy to get by in this world today. It's very easy to get by without being that kind of a person. It's very difficult to become that kind of a person, to always make the right decisions, to always push ahead, to always show character, to always be someone that you can count on. It's Mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. It's uh, society today is too easy, I believe. And so um, that's why I think that's kind of the draw for me to pushing myself the way I do physically, mentally. I don't, I don't like, if something's easy, I don't, I'm not attracted to it. I, I want to, I want to be hard. I want it to be hard. I want it to be difficult. And, um, because society makes us weak It makes us feel entitled. Um, and I don't like it. Um, I, I don't, you know, every day I feel like, unless I'm beat down or tired or whatever, I don't feel like I, I achieved what I needed to achieve that day. And it's just, you know, I, I can't expect anybody else to feel like that. That's just me. Everybody else is motivated, motivated by different things, have different priorities. I'm just for me. And, uh, it's, you know, and, and so finding somebody who of the same mindset as me, be tough it's very rare it's it's hard for people to gravitate towards challenge but through challenge you get the greatest reward because through staying in bed like there's there's that the call of the bed is strong the mm-hmm. warm bed and just oh let me just hit fucking snooze in this alarm clock and get nine more minutes or let me just shut it off and call in sick to work let me just not do what i'm supposed to do yeah. let me just sleep and there was a an article uh that i posted recently where they were talking about um, the power that dopamine has uh, and dopamine and memories. And it's one of the reasons why people have such a hard time kicking bad habits Mm -hmm. is because we gravitate towards these, like, reward experiences that that we have in our head, the reward of eating shitty food or of uh, drinking too much or it's your your mind sort of carves these paths towards these uh, rewarding like uh, almost self-destructive behaviors because those they give you dopamine, whether right. it's eating shitty food or whatever. Hmm. But it's the rare person whose mind gravitates towards the reward of accomplishment, mm-hmm. the reward of pushing yourself through a very, very difficult circumstance, very difficult challenge to get to that feeling of accomplishment like you get, I'm sure, when you run a marathon or mm-hmm. like you get when you get to the top of the mountain when you're pushing when you don't want to mm-hmm. and you get to it and you did it and you know that you overcome this weakness inside of you that wants you to quit Right. that everybody experiences at some point in their life and it's a matter of how you react to that experience and how you react to that that pull. The pull towards the bed is strong. Yeah. The pull towards weakness is strong because it's so easy to do. It's so easy to quit. It's easy to quit. It is. You it's, see it all the time. It's one reason why, I mean, it seems minor, but you know, when I get up at four or five in the morning, I have to be at work at seven. But when I get up early to do my fasted cardio runs um, and I'm out and so I have no fuel, I'm out there, there's nobody out at four or five in the morning and I'm running through the neighborhoods by my house. All the lights are off. I just envision people in there comfortable sleeping. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's, I feel, I feel the best then when I, you know, it's like when I run the mountain, when it's sunny, I don't feel as good as when I run it when it's pouring rain, because (laughs) it's easy to go out and do it when it's sunny. If I run, you know, on a weekend in the middle of the day, lots of people out there. I don't feel that accomplished when I do it at four or five in the morning when nobody's out there. And, and it's just like that in my head and I, my head might not be normal, but I, I just love, you know, and people always say, well, you know, all that running, you, you're going to be in a wheelchair by the time you're 60. And I'm like, who's guaranteed to live to 60. I mean, I might die tomorrow, yeah. you know? So what am I supposed to do? Save myself for what? I, I, I want to, you know, know that I gave all I have every day because tomorrow's not guaranteed. So, I mean, I just don't get, I, it, I have a hard time with that, that mindset of the, the, the moderation mindset. Those people that are saying that they're peering through the curtains while you're running by their house. <laughs> I, I think they're asleep. He's going to, he's going to wind up in a wheelchair. Yeah. Not me. I'm here farting. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, uh. You know, so some people, some people criticize and maybe, maybe I will be on a wheelchair, but I'll know that I lived as hard as I could live and, and pushed as hard as I could when I could do it. 
I'm not going to regret it. Yeah, the people that try to knock someone down for working hard and overcoming extreme obstacles, what they're doing is they're responding to their own insecurities.